Hey, what's going on guys? John Shea here from the No Shame Income blog. Just wanted to welcome you to the channel. If you're brand new here, don't forget to give us a thumbs up on the video and don't forget to subscribe. Today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how I actually went out and picked up this specific WordPress theme and I used this theme not only for my agency website, but I was able to go out and use this to pitch some business owners to help them build uh, their websites and it's really, really easy to do. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of a walkthrough of my own website and show you um, how easy this theme is to set up, how awesome it looks, and uh, just really give you a good breakdown of what the theme is, what it's all about, and how you can get access to it. Let's dive in. All right guys, so we're over on my computer and I wanted to show you guys a little bit of a walkthrough of my own agency website and how you could also use this theme for your client sites if you decide to do that. So I decided to come up with the name, uh, it was completely random, just thinking of brainstorming names, uh, came up with the name Frozen Wave Media. I had this pretty slick logo designed and um, originally when I built this site, I was using one of those landing page builders on top of another theme. And the site didn't look too bad, but it just started to look a little dated as the years went on. And um, my good friends, Tom and Nick, actually ended up releasing their own custom WordPress theme. And I decided, you know what, I really love the way this theme looks. Why don't I go and actually rebuild my agency website using this theme? So I'm going to walk you guys through um, how I built my own agency website, how you can go and pick up this theme and use it not only for your own agency website, but also use it for your clients. So let's talk about this. Um, basically, from the top, you've got my logo, you've got your menu up top here, fairly straightforward. They have a pre-built-in uh, contact form here, which you can customize through the theme. You can add in some kind of tagline. I've been focusing a little bit more on lead generation, so I decided to use that here and not really target any specific niche or service or anything along those lines. I just said I help businesses generate leads. And then I added a couple things here in terms of the services I do, which are really Web, web design, SEO, and helping people with leads, uh, mostly through AdWords and Facebook ads. And then down here, you've got this big testimonial box. Uh, basically, I took some testimonials I had from either clients or people that I, I know in the entrepreneur online marketing space, and I put those in here, and they came out pretty good. Like, here's one, um, if I actually go back, they're scrolling so quick. This was one from my very first client, and I took a photo of him, and um, this came out pretty nice, just adds a little nice touch to this. I really love the fonts on this site. Um, just came out really, really slick and easy to read. You have another box here where you can kind of add in like, you know, hey, are you ready to grow your business? Learn more about our services. The slider keeps kind of moving things around on me. And I added in a few of the services here and just a little blurb, some icons, just made things look pretty snazzy. And then at the bottom, I have a contact and my, um, my basically my phone, my email, and my, uh, my city here. And then I've got a little map here with an icon that looks pretty slick. You've got your social media links at the bottom, the footer, and you've also got the arrow if you wanna go back up to the top. So you can see this is a super simple site. I was able to put this together. I think it came out nice for what it is. I didn't want anything crazy, but I wanted something nice. If someone were to ask, you know, hey, what's your agency website, or where can I go you know, learn more about you? This is a place that they could go. If people wanted to get in touch with me, it's very easy for them to put in their name, email, and phone number right here, and then just click on this and the contact form will come right over. I wanted to show you guys uh, what's inside the members area in terms of, um, not the members area, rather the uh, theme settings in terms of what you can do with this. So I'm actually going to open this up here. I've logged into my dashboard. Um, you can see you can upload your logos. You have the option to upload a favicon, which is the icon that'll show up um, if you go back, I actually don't have it displaying on the camera, but uh, this is the icon that'll show up next to your page in the very top left. I just found this little wave. And then you've got the page banners. This is what shows up here in the background. Pretty straightforward. I just found something on Google. You can add in copy right here. I actually think that's somewhere else on mine. And then you've got all your contact settings. Really simple. You can go in and basically customize everything from the title to the content in terms of what shows up in the heading. Um, you can choose to enable like all the different options, like do you want the phone number, do you want the email, do you want 
um, all these different things showing up in certain places. And then you just add in all your information, the address info, you can add in the Google Maps API key so it shows your address with the maps latitude and longitude. And there's even some zoom options on that. You can go in and add all the social media links. So I was just able to add my Google, Yelp, and Facebook. But if I wanted, I could do LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and YouTube. And then you've got settings for your form. So this is actually um, the separate form that goes just on the homepage. And this is the customization for that. So it's really easy to get this going. And then you've got tons of options for colors and you know doing custom, custom colors if you decide to do that. I decided to keep all the defaults. So if you want to modify this home page, everything is actually editable in blocks. So I'm going to do edit and actually open this up for you guys so you can see how easy it is to build a site with this. Um, in this particular case, I just have my background there, which is that same slider image. Um, by default, I put in a little list of HTML code. If you actually go to, I think it's the same in visual or text, but basically this is just some really simple um, bullet points in HTML code. I've got my title there, which I showed you guys. You can choose um, the testimonial speed. In fact, I'm gonna change this now that I see it in here. I think this is a new feature, by the way. They didn't have that originally. Um, I'm gonna increase that because they were going pretty quick. You can easily add all of these sections and you can see these are drag and drop pieces. So at the very top here, I have banner section, which is the top section. And then testimonials is next. And you can either remove this entirely or add a new layout. Um, and you can choose the different layouts and drag and drop them in between. So in here, it's very easy. You just put in the name of the testimonial, the image, and then the content that goes inside. And I have all of them right here. Then you've got your service section with those custom icons. And I was able to add that. And you can see here, it's easy enough. They've got pre-built in icons. You can just pick and choose from a huge list of all these icons. And once you do that, you just add the title, the content, and you add all the other um, services that you want to add into this. So everything is really, really easy to set up. It's not like you're going and trying to customize all these different things. And if you want to add new sections, um, let's just do add section. You can actually add in all these different kinds of sections. So you've got testimonials, service section, we already have that. What to do section with left content, right image, a call to action, a right side image blogs, grids, galleries, all this stuff is perfect for doing client sites or for your own website. You know, I know for a lot of the contractors I built my websites for, they always want like galleries or having something where people can view photos of their work. And this is going to give you the ability to add all of that very easily without going in and trying to get more plugins or all these other things to kind of hack it all together. So um, pretty straightforward. You can see um, this whole site, I mean, it was something I built in an entire day. It wasn't hard to get going at all. And it's very, very simple and the layout came out nice. So um, I would say the only disadvantages to this would be that if you don't like the way certain things look in terms of like, say this form being over here or the logo being kind of fixated to this section, this is where this is gonna lack a little bit. But if you were to show this to a potential prospect or client and say, hey, you know, um, this is the layout. If you like this, let's go with it. And they like the way things are here. This is going to be the perfect theme for you. Um, if you need a little bit more customization, like you're trying to move this logo, say to the very right, this theme, it's not going to just be as easy as selecting options to do that. It's going to kind of limit you in that sense. So if you guys want to pick this up, um, interestingly enough, the name of this theme or product is kind of strange. It's actually called Website Profit Monster. And this particular theme and product won a deal of the day when it was first launched. Um, you can actually see if you go check this out, there's a video of Tom talking a little bit about it. And the whole page really talks about why there's still business owners that need new websites and need fresh uh, sites. You know, there were years ago people, you know, even still offering like Wix and Squarespace sites. And um, at this point, you can go and offer an awesome WordPress site and make it look really amazing without necessarily needing to go out and um, you know use one of those turnkey type platforms where you're kind of limited and you can't utilize WordPress. So um, I would go through and actually check out this page. If you guys decide that you're interested in this, there is actually a link I'm gonna leave you below the video or depending on where you watch this, you're gonna find it on this page. By default, this is actually $97, but I've actually managed to get a special deal with Tom and Nick. If you go to the page, it's gonna say $97, but if you click on add to cart, you're actually going to have a pre-built-in discount. It will show up here. 
Um, if I actually go to my link, I should be able to get it to work. And if I do my link, I don't know if it'll show up for me, maybe because I'm like cookied or something to the page, but if I go here and then I go all the way down, I click add to cart, it will automatically add in a discount for you guys, or it should. Um, if for any reason that doesn't work for you, just hit me up and let me know. But once you click over to add the cart, you should see the discount automatically applied. Again, let me know if you have any questions and I think you guys will enjoy this theme. Again, if you like these videos, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will be doing more of them each and every week. Thanks for watching.